going to attempt to do a catch, clean, and cook. Although, I couldn't do the clean because YouTube's just weird that way. So, here is the beautiful yellow bullhead catfish all ready to be floured up. And we're going to make some rice. So, I'm going to start by putting the rice together. Unfortunately, I didn't film the catching of the fish. I hope you guys can see this. If not, well, then it is what it is. Dog hair everywhere. Tomorrow I gotta vacuum the boat. Probably should have done that before I started this, but Willie, you better be leaving that fish alone. I really like using chicken stock for making rice. All right. All right, so there is 14 and a half, I need to add an ounce and a half of water. I'm calling that an ounce and a half of water. Now, that needs to get going here. So, let's turn that on. Are we cooking? We're cooking. Let's bring that up to a boil. All right, I'll wait for that to come up to a boil. See if we can find our rice. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. In there someplace, there I see it. There I see it. Rice. Awesome. All right. I like plain basmati rice. We're not gonna start the fish yet because the rice takes 20 minutes. We're just going to go ahead and get that ready. Now I need a one cup measure, which I just happen to have right here. Interesting little side note, my measuring cup came with my ice maker. It measures one cup. Now we will get one cup of rice. One cup of rice to two cups of chicken stock. All right, there's our rice ready to go. Lily, get away from the catfish. You will get your nose cut off if you mess with that fish dog. You understand me? I will take the fillet knife and whack your nose right off. That's right. You leave it. All right, we got to give that a minute. She'll leave it. She's a good dog. Let that get warm. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, as you see, we got the water going good. Add our rice. Give it a good stir. Make sure we're not sticking anywhere. The chicken stock has a lot of uh, yummy stuff in it. I'll make sure every piece of rice has got some in contact. So now that's gonna come up to a boil again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lid on and turn that way down to low. Down to a simmer, as low as I can get it. Way down to where it's just almost going out. All right, I think that's about as low as we can get it without it going out completely. And then we say to our phone, hey Siri, set timer 20 minutes. Hey Siri, set timer 20 minutes. Okay, so she's timing us down 20 minutes. That's how long that's going to take. Let's go ahead and uh, start putting a little attention to the fish. First thing we're going to do is fire up. Fire up the big skillet. <clears throat> going to do a little EVOO. Extra virgin olive oil. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Planning. Ah, plenty. I'm worried that I have that too high still. Turn that down a little more. There we go. Okay. Now we have to flour our fish. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some flour, pinch flour, 
and dredge it up that way because I don't have really the necessary stuff to do this the way it really should be done so that's what we're getting and get flour on the other side had I thought about it I would have seasoned the fish with some salt and pepper maybe a little garlic powder first and then added the flour plain AP white flour yeah. Every little bit covered in flour. Okay, so we got the rice going. It's going to take 20 minutes for the rice to cook. We've got 16 minutes left. That fish isn't going to take anywhere near that amount of time, but I'm going to go ahead and get the fish going now. And that way we can get it cooked and let it sit on a plate while we're waiting for the rice to get done. Oh. <clears throat> got skillet, got good and hot some EVOO in there there we go whoosh 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 he says some yumminess coming down the pike right there now come on plates there we go I got two good Two plates. One for the dirty utensils and one for dinner. All right, we can put this back. It goes down in the hold. All right. How's our temperature on that frying pan? Eh, a little high. There we go. Turn it down a little bit. Keep that down a little bit lower. Dog hair in there. And there we go. We the frying catfish. All right. Let's see about turning. Mr. Fishy over. There we go. Very good. My stove doesn't sit perfectly level, so I got to kind of swirl the oil around to get a good even cook on the fish. Something I need to work on in the galley. May not have much of a kitchen, but boy, I sure got a hell of a view. Got the heat off. Just letting the residual heat finish cooking. Six more minutes on the rice. I guess I started the fish a little too early. Beautiful. Oh, brother. Look at that. Whoa, that's hot. Ooh, warm. Warm, warm, warm. Almost longer on the rice. Four and a half minutes. We'll just let it sit in the pot for four and a half minutes then. Ah, the rice is finishing up, so let's go ahead and see how we did, shall we? All right. So this is the fish cooked whole. So obviously we have a lot of bones to deal with in here. I like to just start right here in the middle and just pry the meat off the bones this way. You see how beautifully that's coming off. catfish was really nice and flaky oh. yeah, I wasn't sure how well I got up here the thicker part all 
right, that's all boneless there. That's all boneless meat there. Now this is the rib cage here. So there won't be hardly any meat on that at all. You see that's all bony. You can see the bones in that. So you don't want to get too much into that. That piece there should be good. All right, I think we did a pretty good job of clearing off that side. Turn it over. Same thing all over again. We're just peeling all the good stuff off of the bones and trying to leave the bones intact as best we can. See, we don't want we don't want that. That's all. That's all bone and fin right there. This is all of our eating pile here. Fried like this in the flour really came out nice and crispy and yet maintained a lot of the moisture in the fish. It was really quite delicious. Yeah, I may not have gotten the thick part of the catfish there as well as I would have liked, but someone's got their nose all over the place here, but there you go. So there's catfish. Got him all cleaned out, and again, this is this is the bony part here around the rib cage. So it's going to be just a lot of bones. A lot of bones in that. And we'll try to pick through that as best we can. So there we go. And that's the junky part. Along with that and that. Oh, that all looks good. That all is good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Very good. All right. So there's the catfish. I cleaned all the meat off of it. You can see the bones there. Got a pile here on my plate of all the meat. This has got most of the bones out of it, but you still got to be careful eating catfish because it does have bones. Mmm. Oh, man. Nothing, nothing fresher. I mean, this guy was swimming this morning, you know. Mmm. Super simple. A little bit of flour. Cooked in some olive oil. Oh. Rice is done. Stop the timer. Yep. So glad men's hairstyles are crazy these days. Oh, man. Because I'm sure styling my hair tonight. That is so good. Very juicy. I'm actually pleased with myself. That came out very good. But man, good stuff. Well, there you have it, guys. Very poorly done. <laughs> but done nonetheless. Catch, clean, and cook. Yellow bullhead catfish. Having it for dinner. And the flour on the outside gives a nice little crunch. Oh, the dog was laying here at my feet. I wonder where the dog went. He's waiting to clean up the leftovers. Won't be any. Hmm. Yep. See, I can just see there's a bone sticking out. One went right there. All right. Well, we've seen rice before, so just some plain white rice. Guys, enjoying my dinner here. Catch, clean, and cook. Having catfish for dinner here and. Erie, Pennsylvania. So we'll have more for you later, kids. Bye.